thousands of years ago. For centuries, Africans have smelted iron. This furnace was used in 1926 by the Demi smelters in Ethiopia. Though it looks simple, this four-strap furnace used a complex process to make metals out of ore, iron-bearing rock. First, the smelter packed the furnace with dry grass. He then set the grass on fire. Next, he added charcoal. When the charcoal grew red hot, the smelter inserted clay pipes, or tuyeres, into the furnace's sides. The tuyeres connected the furnace to clay bowls. By attaching goat skins to the bowls, the smelter made bellows. He poured layers of charcoal ore into the furnace and the shaft was full. Then, smelters pumped the bellows to blast air into the furnace. Inside the furnace, airflow made the charcoal hotter. The ore began to break down. Red hot ore and charcoal fell through the white hot area between the tuyeres. As the ore melted, it gave off oxygen and absorbed carbon from the hot coals, forming puddles of iron slag beneath the tuyere. As the slag absorbed more carbon from the bed of charred grass, and as oxygen escaped from each slag puddle, Pieces of carbonized iron, or steel, formed in the center. The master smelted through the iron was ready when the color of the flame changed, when the furnace's content burned down, and when the sound of dropping slags stopped. The furnace cooled overnight. The next morning, smelters entered the furnace to collect pieces of carbonized iron called bloom. The iron was ready to be forged into finished products.